Chris Nash, congratulations. A terrific start to the season. You must be delighted. Yeah, yeah, it's always, always nice to start with, with any runs in your first game. So, you're quite nervous when you go in there. You're on, you haven't got a run for a season. So, um, yeah, really pleased the way I hit the ball and kind of made a few changes in the winter and it seems like it worked. We'll talk about those in a moment. Um, a hugely emotional day as well, Chris. Um, what did you make of that? Yeah, look, it was, it was, that was, you know, really hard to... So obviously we had a memorial service for, to remember Hobbsy and I think for, for a lot of people it's still very raw um, you know to see his family there and, and see how they've dealt with it and you know to speak to them afterwards was just you know quite emotional for a lot of the lads so um, yeah it was, it was a really tough day um, but also it was a great thing to celebrate kind of everything that Hobbsy did um, and it was great for his family and friends to be here today so yeah it was a very very very, very tough day to start with um, but you know we remembered him and, and we obviously sat in the change room and, and remembered him with a smile on our faces. Was that on your mind when you were batting because you had his shirt on as well? Yeah, I think I think it was. I think throughout the day it's been with us. Um, we obviously we were wearing his shirt. His family and friends were here, um, and obviously with, with what went on this morning, um, I think it, it was a real kind of constant, constant throughout the day. So um, yeah, I mean, what, what it does do is it puts it in perspective. Um, we made us realise it's just a game of cricket, and when we were playing out there for Hobsey today, as we will all season. You spoke about some changes you've made in the winter. You've been out in South Africa with Gary Kirsten. What, what have you been working on, Chris? Yeah, just I mean, just a few technical things um, to not, not not get too low. I used to stand, kind of crouch quite low, and it was quite hard work on the body. So um, try to stand stand a bit more upright and, and not move around as much. So yeah, it's been nice. It's been nice to kind of have a focus over the winter to come back and and hopefully score a, a lot of runs. And last season you dropped down the order. You're batting up four a lot. Was, was that a confidence issue, Chris? Are you glad to be back opening the innings? Um, I, I mean, I, I just, I'm, I'm quite happy to bat anywhere. I think, you know, I think as an opener, you always think kind of batting four and five is, is going to be a nicer place to bat. And I, I really enjoy batting there as well. But, um, you know, nothing beats getting out there and getting a hundred opening. And, it, and it's great to be back with Joyce as well. I really enjoy that. And you were timing the ball really well from, from, you know, from the first over this morning. Yeah, everything clicked quite nicely. I, I got, got a few away early. Um, they gave me a few kind of half volleys early, which got me flying and, and kind of never really stopped from there. So decent wicket and um, I think it should be a very good game of cricket. Yeah, and when you talk about a decent wicket, well, well, it's difficult to gauge where Sussex are. So 188 for no wicket. Is there a feeling that Sussex have slightly missed out? Or? Oh, definitely. I think, you know, what, we won 90 for none. So, um, to, you know, to be in the position we're in, we're, so we're a little bit disappointed and we, we probably missed an opportunity. But I thought they came out and bowled much better after lunch um, and through in the evening session. So if the way they bowled there gives an indication of, what, you know, what's there in the wicket, then it, then it should bode well for us later on. I say, is there a bid in this wicket for, for McGoffin and Shazad? Definitely. I think, you know, the guy Knew how to bowl well here. Um, we played Worcester on this last year and won, um, and the guys knew how to bowl. So um, I think it's one of them where you know I think if you hit your areas and, and hit the pitch hard, there's enough there for anyone. An attacking selection today, going in with five bowlers. I guess that puts a bit of pressure on the middle order. But Ollie Robinson came to the party. Yeah, I mean we, we've always known Ollie can bat, and I think he started last year with a hundred. Um, I think he's got he's got the potential to develop into a genuine all rounder here and, and for a long time. So um, yeah, I think we, we backed our batters to score the runs. Um, I think at Hove you need your five bowlers, so it's going to be going to be helpful now if we can just get up to 400.